Hey y'all, I go by the name of Roxy Rose and this right here is Roxy Rose Guides. Debt update for the month of June, 2024. I'm, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> y'all see why. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back, y'all. <sighs> I'm a little bit disappointed by this debt update and we're gonna get into it. Before we do, I wanna go ahead and thank our wonderful subscribers. You are wanted and appreciated. So I thank you so much for coming back on this channel. I thank you for all those that have been patient with me and just waiting for videos to come out. I was planning to do two a week. Life has happened, baby has happened. <laughs> it's so much has gone on, but I'm trying my best to get out more videos and more content for y'all. So just watch out for that because July, well, it's already July, but I was definitely planning on doing a lot more this month. So please look out for that. And if you're new here, here on Roxy Rose Guide, I guide you through all of my personal budget, finance, and debt payoff, along with other stuff I'm trying to get into in my life. So if you're interested in things like that, like this debt update, right? My little debt confessional. Go ahead and like and subscribe below and uh, leave a comment. Go ahead and let me know what you're thinking about this debt update. <sighs> we about to get into it. So let's go ahead and get into, oh, if you notice my background is different. I'm recording from my living room right now instead of my um, bedroom. <laughs> the baby's sleeping upstairs and I wanna make sure I get this done before she wakes up, okay? So in order to do our debt update, we gotta go all the way to, so this is my, the end of our budget planner book, all right? So if you're interested in this budget planner book, please check me out. I have my website down below and I also have my Etsy shop. So you guys can go ahead and check it out. If you wanna go ahead and print it out, you can also do that as well, all right? So, here we have our debt. Let's go ahead and get started with our debt repayment tracker. Let's go ahead and get started with our debt repayment tracker. All right, so let's start with our revolving debt, AKA credit cards. So, huh. We know our interest rates on our credit cards have been crazy. I actually need to go ahead and call and check my statements and update them because it seems like every six months something happens and I need to like beg a credit card company to kind of <laughs> give me another chance. Um, we are gonna start with June. So, so far the last few months we've been credit card debt free. And by the grace of God, I have been able to go ahead and make sure I don't owe anything else on any of these cards. So currently right now, I am credit card debt free. I'm credit card debt free, y'all. And y'all probably like, well, why'd she say she was disappointed? She credit card debt free. Guess what? There's a caveat to this, okay? The caveat is y'all, I had to take out of my savings to go ahead and get credit card debt free this month. Yeah, I had to really scrape all my funds. Right now in my accounts, I have less than a thousand in each of my accounts. I like to leave a buffer of about 500 to $1,000 in each of my, you know, checking accounts just so if anything happens, if anything pops up, I have enough. And right now I'm under the threshold in some of my accounts. Y'all, I'm really disappointed in myself. Like, I have been spending so much in credit cards and paying off the credit card for the last few months that it's finally caught up to me. And now I'm taking out of my savings to actually pay for this credit card. So we had a barbecue planned. It had to be canceled because we can't really afford it. We just bought an AC to cool down upstairs because we kind of need it, especially for the baby. <sighs> and I just did some deep diving into my transactions and deep diving into my budgeting. 
And I realized for the past few months, right, that I came back from maternity leave, I've been having money come out going into health insurance, extra money come out going to the health insurance, extra money come out going to the pensions. But I've been missing about 400 extra dollars a month. And I've been spending as if I'm getting my regular paycheck. I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, maybe this is just be me being like hard on myself, but I'm disappointed in myself because the whole point of me budgeting is to make sure whatever money I get in my paycheck, I'm able to pay it. But every all the rest of the money, right? The money in my checking account, my money in my savings account. It should not be affected by my daily or my monthly activities. And if it is being affected, there is a problem. So I'm really disappointed as much as I'm credit card debt free and I'm really am pushing to make sure I stay credit card debt free, my savings is dwindling. So now, you know, I was ready to be four months of emergency funds ready to go. Now it's dwindling down. Um, so it's going back to about three or two months of savings. Well, it's not two months, but it's <laughs> about three months of my savings in my high yield savings account. And I am, I'm just disappointed in myself. I don't want to go backwards anywhere in my stuff unless I'm making a big purchase and I'm planning to pay it off soon. Um, so I'm a little disappointed in myself in that. Like I have reined in a little bit of what my spending was from last month um, because I told you guys I actually had like thousands of dollars that I had accumulated on my credit card, but I paid it off at the end of the month, right? But I can't get used to that because it slowly has been like a thousand, but I paid it off. 900, but I paid it off. 3,000, but I paid it off. This month I spent about 2,500 and I paid it off, but it's a lot of money. And it's a lot of money that is not coming out of my paycheck because my paycheck is not regular from my maternity leave and me not paying health insurance and me not paying pension during my maternity leave. So this is really affecting me. And we're getting into summer. I'm help, hopeful and helpful for the summer because pension doesn't come out during the summer. So I'm hoping I actually see my regular check. <laughs> but y'all, this is hitting me a little bit it's hitting me and uh i definitely need to tighten up in july to make sure that i am where i want to be by the end of this summer and going into the beginning of the next school year which is september (sighs) so y'all pray for me and uh yeah so i have two plans that i'm gonna go ahead and do to help me why'd i do three Two plans to go ahead and help me just make up the money I've spent and then also help me going forward. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sit down and definitely have a budget meeting with my husband to really plan out how we're going to tackle this and make sure that we have what we need saved up and ready to go and uh, that we're just doing better with our finances for this month upcoming and going to the rest of the summer And the rest of the year, really. Next thing, all right? Because, I mean, really, this is six months have passed. So half of the year is gone. And now we're getting into our second half of the year. So I need new quarterly goals, new uh, action plans that I put into place to make sure that the rest of the year is where I'm trying to go, which is saving money in my account, which is building up my savings fund, my emergency fund, which is making sure that I'm saving money to put on a down payment on another property. Like this is what the goal is. So if I'm spending frivolous money on things that I don't need and just saying I'm going to pay it off later, that is not the goal because I am not reaching my goal that way. I'm wasting money. So it's funny because, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm watching other people 
you know, they're complaining on TikTok or going viral for spending or owing this much. And I'm like, huh? But then I'm looking at how they're spending their money and I'm realizing it's not that different from what I'm doing. I'm putting stuff on my credit card and acting as if, you know, it's all good and it's not. Anyway, here's my plan. So I'm going to have a budget meeting with my husband. I have to go ahead and return stuff back to the store. Y'all, back in the day, that's what I did. Y'all, I would return stuff back to the dollar store if I needed to get my money back. And you know now the dollar store doesn't, if you do have a Dollar Tree, dollar store don't take no money back now. It's exchange. But I'd go exchange that for something I needed later, okay? So I need to go exchange and send back things that I don't need because I really need to get that done. Maybe I got to do another yard sale this summer. Put up a tent and do another yard sale so I can get some money because I need money, y'all. It's not looking right. I I need money. So we're going to get this stuff done. Uh, But I need to get some extra funds over this summertime. If anybody has any extra ideas or any ways to easily make money when you're staying at home with a child. Remember, so like there's a lot of stuff I can't do. I can't really leave the house like that. I can't really like do a lot of things and have a lot of free time (laughs) because I have to make sure I'm taking care of my baby. So, y'all, this is... uh, Life is life right now. Life is life in. Um, The next thing I need to do is go through all of my funds. Like I literally, here, I'm going to show you guys because y'all don't, y'all may like understand a little bit, but so basically here is my expenses tracker. I spent about $500 just this past um, the first half of June and then going to the second half of June. This is like the bottom half of June because it wouldn't all fit on this first page. For the second half of June, I spent so much money, about $2,000. So it's about 2500 that I spent. And that's something I just need to make sure that I'm doing along with my budgeting is tracking my expenses and making sure like how much did I spend this week? How much did I spend this month? Because that's really going to let me know like girl, what are you, have you been doing and for why? For what? Like, <laughs> ah. So those three things is what I need to do. Is make a plan with my husband, return things to the store. Oh yeah, and on stuff. I have money that's in all of my sinking funds and that's what sinking funds are for. So yes, I paid off all of this, but now... The money that I took from my savings to pay off all of this, I need to go ahead and put my sinking funds to pay back what I really owe and put it back in my savings. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through that whole list that I just showed you. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have some money back into my savings because it was spent and it's not right. <sighs> Y'all, please pray for me, please, because... I've been getting into bad money habits. I really need to focus in on these finances and get my financial life in order. I don't like coming here and having a debt confession when I have credit card debt freedom, but it has a contingency or it has like a caveat to it. That really makes me angry. (sighs) But there's a saving grace going into our non-revolving unsecured debt, AKA, student loans so y'all this is my only saving grace right now because these student loans yes they've been kicking my butt um but you'll see in a minute let me go ahead and write it in
Okay, y'all. So, first off, is anybody else confused about that save plan? I know I mentioned it in another video, but that save plan, y'all, something has gone on with it, and now they're in the courts about the save plan, and my Mohila has changed to Mohila student.gov website. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just happy that I'm able to put it down. I think I made an extra payment in order to get it down this low um, because my monthly payment's only $100 because of the, my income repayment, but it still, is accrue, it still accrues interest every day. And I'm still getting charged about $300 to have the student loan, even though it's only paying down $900. I mean, it's only paying down $99. So <sighs> that's something I'm still trying to get my like mind around, but I'm just get glad that it is slowly going down. It went back up in this month and this month, and now it went back down. So I really have to figure out what I need to do. Definitely making those extra payments helps. Ernest, because of my savings challenge, y'all, I didn't play with it, okay? I took that $1,000 and I put it in my account and I paid down my earnest $300 I used for something else, but $1,000 I definitely went ahead and paid down my earnest, okay? So now we've gone down from, I'm glad to see this. It went from 20 to 19 to 18, 17, 16. So I'm doing something right when it comes to earnest. Earnest is doing, and that's the one that's actually, I'm paying it twice a month. I wanna say twice a month, but it's really uh, every two weeks. It's, getting, it's coming out. So like this month, it's coming out three times, um, which really helps. Then we have Aspire. Aspire is amazing because Aspire is actually... <sighs> Aspire just came off almost 60. Almost sixty dollars, so fifty something dollars, and then Navient came down about seventy dollars. So I'm exact excited to see that Navient came down about seventy dollars. That's great. So yeah, I am excited about what the final amount is. And a quick little jumbo. The final amount went down to bam. $93,966.11. Y'all, I usually don't count the cents because the cents don't really matter. Especially since I'm recording this a few days after I calculated all of this. And y'all, it's already gone up. But this is amazing. This is amazing. Uh, I've gone from 95000 to 90, well, basically 94000 So it's gone down significantly. And definitely because of this earnest, I'm trying to pay off this earnest by, I want to say the end of the year, but Lord willing, Lord willing, I actually do pay it off by the end of the year. How about that? Okay. I'm going to pay off as much as I can by the end of the year, but by the end of next year, I expect it to be completely gone. So I want that earnest gone. It is a private student loan. I don't need it. It's not helping me and I can't get rid of it by bankruptcy. I can't get rid of it by student forgiveness. I can't get rid of it for any other reason. It's just really fraudulent. And I think I had just turned 18 when I got it. So I didn't know any better. So I'm here. I'm working on it. I'm trying my best to get these student loans all the way together. Okay, these blasted no good student loans, which uh, out of all of my, uh, you know, debt update and everything I've gone over, this is actually making me happier than my credit cards, even though I'm debt free. So let's go ahead and look into this. All right. So for June, we have no credit cards by the end, but Lord, Lordy. Okay. I'm going to put that I've been over spending because that is what's going on right now. And I need to figure out a way to stop. Okay, stop it. Okay, but I finished the challenge. 
that helped me to pay down my student loans. So I'm definitely going to put that in there too. And now I'm at $93,966.11. I'll put the 11 cents in there for good measure. It's different now, but there we go. So this is it for the first half of the year, y'all. Mm. I got so much to plan for this next half of the year because this first half, there's been some ups and downs, man. This not counting for what has gone on in January was a big slip up on my end, right? And the car accident, I was on maternity leave. I had to get my computer fixed. There's so much that happened to go into February, March, April, May, you know? March helped me a lot in paying down some debt and doing what I needed to do. April, May, and now I'm in June. Well, now I'm in July. So now we have the second half of the year, y'all. I look forward to really just getting my student loans down. It's gone down every month, so I'm hoping to get it down significantly. Let's see what I can do. Do you think I can get it down to... A $5,000. We have six more months of the year. Can I get down my student loans by $5,000? Can I get in the 80s? Y'all, come on. I have to have something that I'm reaching towards my goal, okay? So that is a goal of mine to get down $5,000 of my student loans by the end of the year and to stay credit card debt free. Is it possible? All right, can I do it? All right, I will let you know and keep you updated. Oh, the baby's up, but I'm not done with this video. Hold on. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I am continuing this video. I put my daughter down to sleep finally. So now it is the afternoon and I am attempting to do the net worth and credit score portion of the video. All right, so for the June net worth, if you know anything about net worth, basically I'm taking all my assets minus all of my liabilities and seeing just for myself how much that would be. I'm not including everything for the whole family. I'm just including what is on my credit line and what I owe. Okay. So we're talking assets, we're talking retirement plan, anything in savings, car value and home value. And then we are talking uh student loans and the mortgage because the auto loans already paid off and i am credit card debt free so with all of that let's go ahead and add that together and see where we're at so with all of that we are currently at a total net worth of one hundred and fifteen thousand three hundred and sixty one dollars now that is a true blessing. Um, of course, all of this is based on the value of my home, um, which did go down. And last month we know it went up to 125 or some ridiculous number. So I feel like this is a little bit more, makes a little bit more sense. Um, and then now let's look at our credit scores. So when I went under Credit Karma, I had these two credit scores, 817 and 830, which I'm glad about because it was 816 and 829 before. So it went up by one point. And Amex still has it at 849. I really don't know how to feel about this. I am super excited about it, but I don't know how accurate that is. Um, but I'm glad. I mean, I am credit card debt free. So. Uh, maybe it takes a while for everybody else for it to kick in there. Um, but I do still own on student loans. And I do still, well, that's it. I really just own on student loans. So maybe that's affecting my other scores. But uh, please go ahead and let me know how many points you guys have went up or if your net worth has been up since watching me. We have to encourage each other. We got to help each other. So I hope you guys have your net worth increasing, your credit scores increasing, your budgeting and getting things together. And y'all learn from me, okay? Keep a track of your finances. Keep track of what you're spending and 
definitely make sure to check your debt each month. Check what you're getting and check what you're not getting. Check what's being charged to you because y'all, you could be like me. I mean, I was really pissed. I found out that I was being charged $20 a month for an item every week for a stupid app that I downloaded and I forgot to cancel it. So these are little things that add up over time and it's stuff that I definitely didn't need. So don't be like me. Learn from me. Do better than me, okay? Because we try to learn from each other, do better and, you know, life be life in, but I'm a life back, Okay. I got things to worry about. I want Brooklyn to worry about. I got a future to worry about. And we're going to be successful. So I'm guiding you guys through my money. And speaking of money guides, there will be a new series coming out, Financial Freedom Series. Please look out for that. I am wanting to talk about all things finance and financial freedom and get us on the right track for the second half of the year. So please look out for these videos. I hope you have an amazing and wonderful July. Take care. Happy 4th to those who celebrate the 4th. Um, happy birthday to all those cancers. And I guess at the end of the month, it's some Leos that's to come. And enjoy this weather, y'all. It's hot. So definitely stay hydrated, stay inside, stay blessed, stay great, stay tan. Take care, God bless, and Roxy Rose out. Oh.